Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can copy color grading or other effects like blurs from one clip to other clips very easily by using shared nodes on the color tab. So let's go ahead and add something to this clip that's very visible and we can easily see it. And we'll do that over on the color tab. So whenever you're editing on the color tab, you have corrector nodes, which usually store information for lookup tables or color grading or blurs, whatever you want to add to it to change the look of the clip. So purely just to demonstrate how this works, let's go ahead and take the offset and we'll change this towards a red color so that it's very clear how it affects the original clip here. So everything's a lot more red, right? So how you create the shared node is that you right click on your node here, the color corrector node, and you do save as shared node. So when you have it shared as a shared node, basically you can take the same node and copy that over to other clips. So if we click on the second clip in the timeline, you can see that they are different periods of time and have nothing to do with each other. But we can right click here to add another corrector node in and we go to add node and we find the name of the shared node which we just created. So if we do shared node three, then that's going to be added on this node sequence. As soon as we've done that, all of the effects that we've added on to the node before we made it into a shared node are now going to be used here. And because this is its own node, you can have have some effects go on the shared node and then you can change other things about your color grading over here on the other corrector nodes. So if I wanted to add blur here to this clip, I could go down here to the blur section, increase the blur radius. But then if we go back over to the other clip, although it is still red, it does not have that blurring effect because that is a separate corrector node. Now these shared nodes link all of the changes between all of the clips. So if we change the shared node again, it's going to update on all of the clips that use that node. But if you look at the bottom right hand corner of the shared node, you'll notice that they are locked by default once you turn it into a shared node. So if you right click here and you uncheck lock node, you'll be able to affect the node once again. So we could reset that offset. Okay, and since we've taken the effect off of the shared node, we can add something else in. So I'll go over here to the fifth tab of the curve section. We'll do luminosity versus saturation. So over here, if we raise the curve, it's gonna mean that the more luminous or the brighter areas on the screen are gonna be more saturated with color. So let's go ahead and adjust this, bringing this up so that the luminous parts are saturated and bring this down so that the darker areas are unsaturated. And you can just kind of make that wherever you want it to be. If you want extra points, you can add them in by left clicking and just kind of go for it. So now we've changed what this shared node does. If we go back to clips and we look at the first one, we can see down here this little symbol next to the zero one that there is still curve modifiers on this clip which did not exist before. So if we break the link here for the shared node, you'd be able to see the difference before and after. So the original color and then with the curve modifiers, you can see that the light areas are a lot more vivid in their color, more saturated. So the takeaway here is that wherever you edit the shared node, once you unlock it, it's going to immediately apply to everywhere that uses that shared node. You can kind of see it if you do end up using multiple shared nodes across your project, you probably don't want to just leave the default name. So you can double click up here. So we could rename it shared saturation adjustment or something like that. And over here, it would receive the same name. And if we want to make sure once again that we don't accidentally edit it, because it is going to affect everything across the project that uses those shared nodes, we can right click on it, go to lock node again. But we only need to do this in one place. If we click back on the first clip, you'll see that it is immediately locked as well. So pretty much everything about the node ends up shared. And this becomes an easy way to edit changes across your project on multiple clips wherever you need those same effects to apply. So that's going to be it for this quick video about shared nodes in DaVinci Resolve 16. I hope you guys learned something useful. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.